if you're looking for new recipes to add to, to your repertoire for like the good weather, you know, you're celebrating, you're socializing with family and friends, how about uh, some great ideas right now with our food media specialist, Charmaine Broughton. Nice to have you back on the show. I am so excited to be here. It's good to have you here. Good weather means good food. It does. Yeah. It means good food and good company, but good quality food as well yeah. that's going to fuel us as well. Healthy right? stuff, right? Yes, healthy and delicious and using pantry staple items. So I guarantee all the viewers probably have think these items in their fridge or pantry. Mm -hmm. That makes it easy. It does. And yeah. it's going to be easier for me because I have a sous chef, which is you. Oh, mm -hmm. oh like I'm going to help you? You are. You're okay, cool, because that was a big word for me though. <laughs> So. What? <laughs> Sous chef? Yeah, I don't, oh. yeah, I don't know what that means. Say that three yeah. times fast. Okay. okay, Dylan, come this way. <laughs> All right, I'm here, I'm here. So wh where are we going to begin? We are going to start with a quinoa salad mm -hmm. with uh, roasted cauliflower and a honey lime dressing. Mm -hmm. Okay, absolutely delicious. So um, the what? The um, recipe calls for quinoa, so one cup of dried quinoa. So okay. quinoa is just a grain. It's really popular these days because it's naturally gluten-free, high in protein. It's just a nice alternative to other starches, mm -hmm. right? You have to cook it first? You, you do. Okay. Um, so you can buy it from a bulk food store. You can also just buy it packaged and just follow the package directions. It's uh, very similar cooking methods to rice. Okay. Like, so two parts water, one part quinoa. Okay. And it cooks up in about 15 minutes. Super easy. Wonderful. Alrighty, so we have this. And then I've gone ahead and I've roasted a head of cauliflower. Flour. I'll have you pop that, that in the bowl All right, with some that. shallots and a, uh, and a red pepper. Putting it all of it, all of yep. it in here? Okay. Yeah. And how you want to do that is you want to toss the chopped up vegetables with um, a little bit of the uh, basil margarine with avocado oil, okay. right? And you're going to toss it all together, put it on a baking sheet and roast it off for about 20 minutes at 425. But you could do it on the barbecue as well, right? Okay. And you know, uh, uh, take advantage of the grill. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to add a little bit of green onions and some chopped cilantro as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I know not everybody is a fan of cilantro. Are you a fan of cilantro? Yeah, why oh, okay, not? cool. Sure. Excellent, I'm gonna put this over here so everybody can see me chop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so if yeah. you didn't like <laughs> cilantro, Dylan and I are just talking on top of each other here. That's okay. No, it's good. Uh, you could do parsley. You could do dill, basil. You know, take advantage of what you have in your herb garden, right? Because everybody has a herb garden. Well, Charmaine. you know, a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, some people do. Uh -huh. Gardening is becoming quite trendy. You can even grow that indoors. You, you absolutely can nice. on your windowsill. Okay. So some cilantro. I add some green onion. And then for our dressing. Should I be stirring this up? Does, yep, you can stir. Okay. Um, I have a wee bit of honey. And then again, I have some melted uh, basil uh, avocado margarine, mm -hmm. just like so, and some lime zest and lime juice. So for the lime zest, for the when you're juicing a lime, you just want to press on it a little bit. It just okay. helps release some of the juices. Okay. okay. And then with my rasp, actually, I'll put the zest right into the salad, okay. like so. And then we'll cut this in half. Squeeze this in. Mm -hmm. Like so, and then I'll have you toss everything together. Wow. And the beauty of this salad is, you know, almost 50% of Canadians um, want to be eating more plant-based food. But mm -hmm. they think, you know, that it's either really expensive or it's items that they're not familiar with and they're going to have to shop at a variety of different stores. But, you know, everything I put in here are items that people are familiar with, yeah. right? Uh, so it's so easy to eat a plant-based diet or incorporate more plant-based foods into an overall diet, right? Okay. So this would be absolutely delicious with some, you know, salmon kebabs or even some veggie kebabs off of the grill. I can always tell when something's healthy because it smells like mm, someone just it, cut the grass. Absolutely. It's just fresh <laughs> and I mean the colors are so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and some avocado too. We'll cut up the avocado on there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because, well, the, and the avocado has more healthy fats. Yes. So I'm not sure if the viewer saw, but I just took my knife around the big seed in the avocado. Yeah. Cut it in half, and then to get out the seed, oops, like that. And then we can dice it up, and we'll put it right on top. You of, are so fast at that. I am. Well, I've done it a zillion times. My youngest son absolutely loves avocado. All right, So okay. we'll pop that in there. And then we will move on to the uh, on the vine deviled eggs. Okay, so that was the honey lime quinoa and cauliflower salad. Yes. Bang. All right. So now we're moving on to these deviled eggs. Uh huh. So what I've done is I've made a hummus, mm -hmm. uh, but again, what I've done instead of using um, like a, a vegetable oil, I've melted some of the basil avocado oil. I, uh, excuse me, the basil avocado margarine. Okay. And I've drizzled that into my food processor as I'm whipping up the chickpeas and the tahini and the garlic and all that yummy stuff and 
I'll have all the recipes up online. Okay, we have about two minutes left here. It goes quick. Too. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so then I put everything into the piping bag and we can just pipe this on. And what I really like about this recipe is it's a light appetizer, right? And, you know, in the warm weather months, if you're hosting like a bridal shower or a baby shower, maybe a stagette, or just having some people over, uh, you know, in, j during the warm weather, mm -hmm. heavy hors d'oeuvres, you know, the, the, uh, 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 they're heavy, so this way yeah, of course. it's, it's light it. and you can get in your servings of fruits and vegetables. Uh, am, am I noticing that there's no actual egg because it's called deviled eggs, right? right. So this is a, just a whole Well, again, cake. we're playing on the whole uh, plant-based eating, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of the egg, we are using, I've got some cucumber cups, I have some tomatoes. You could even do them on a bigger tomato and have it as, as a side dish. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of dill for mm -hmm. a garnish. Because just everybody has dill in their garden. <laughs> Correct. They do. I think Dylan might be the only one who doesn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. have a garden. Okay. And then last but not least, the maple oat uh, trail mix. So nice. I just love this. You know, I was thinking if I had a daughter, which I don't, yeah. you know, and she was having maybe a summer birthday party, for a loop bag, you can make your own trail mix. Okay. Put it in little mason jars and then send all the kids home with um, a little bit of the uh, trail mix in mm -hmm. a nice jar. And then this is something that their friends can have over yogurt in the summer months. So there's no cooking. You're no turning on the, uh, you know, oven. Just wow. like that. Oh, that mm -hmm. looks great. And for all these recipes, you can go to uh, basel.ca and, you know, take advantage of the summer months and incorporate more plant-based eating into your overall diet. Mm -hmm. And we'll all be happier and healthier for yes, it. Yes, and CharmaineBroughton.com, of course, has all yes. of the magic that you can ever imagine on one web website. <laughs> Correct? Oh, of course, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for sharing, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. No, it's fine. It's too late. Okay. We've got more daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.